These days, we're all pretty connected, and Canon knows that sharing images is a big part of our lives. When you pick up a camera that's a much higher quality than your smartphone, those outstanding images can be easily shared using Wi-Fi and Bluetooth that's built into new Canon cameras. In this video, and the next lesson, we'll cover what you can do and how to make your phone or tablet talk to your camera. That way, your high quality pictures will be super easy to print and share, just like pictures you take with your phone. Just so we're on the same page, let me point out, when I say phone, that could be an Apple or Android smartphone, or even a tablet. And you might need to update your OS so it's compatible with the free Canon Camera Connect app. When you go to the App Store for your device, just read the description to see what OS version you need on your mobile device. You know the Wi-Fi in your camera can connect to your phone, but it can do other things without your phone. You can transfer images from one Canon camera to another compatible Canon camera. You can print straight from your camera to a compatible Wi-Fi printer, and you don't even need a computer. And you can connect your camera to a Wi-Fi network, like at your house. And then you can send pictures to your own email or even social media by using the free Canon Image Gateway. That's cloud-based image storage. There's a downloadable product manual with a whole section on wireless that covers all the wireless connections. But since most of us will be using the smartphone connection, let's cover what you can do with your phone. In the next video, we'll walk through the setup step by step. After you install the free Canon Camera Connect app on your phone, you can review the images that are on your camera before actually downloading any of them. Then, while you're reviewing images, you can tap to blow up an image and show your shots to your friends. And you can do that even if your camera is put away in your bag, as long as it's close by. Then if you decide you want to keep a few images on your phone or share them on the web, you can download the shots you select to your phone. See that little download icon on your image that shows up during review? Just tap it and the camera sends a copy to your phone. The copy is going to be smaller than the full high res image on your camera's memory card, but it's still great quality and perfect for sharing on the web, social media, or sending as an email attachment. Images from a quality camera like this will definitely step up your game on sites like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Flickr. One of my favorite things you can do when your camera and phone are connected is remote control shooting. And I'm not just talking about a remote shutter button to snap a picture. If you're within 50 feet or 15 meters, you can set your camera down, like on a tripod or a table, set your zoom how you want, frame up your shot, and walk away. Then you can see what your camera sees on your phone. You can tap on the preview to focus in a different spot in your frame and take your shot. And if you're a little more of an advanced user and you want to control exposure settings, you can control the aperture, shutter speed, ISO, and exposure compensation. Plus, you can even change focus methods. So you can take your selfie shots to a whole new level. One more thing that your phone and camera can do together is to geotag your shots. You just turn on logging information in the Canon Camera Connect app on your phone and the GPS info gets added to your shots. And you can add your phone's date and time if you want. The wireless connectivity is fun and easy, especially after you set it up the first time. But there are some basics you should know so this all makes sense. The first thing is that you do not need to be around a Wi-Fi network to connect your phone with your camera. You can do it in the middle of nowhere. Like I mentioned earlier, you'll use the Canon Camera Connect app on your phone or tablet, and that needs to be the latest version of the Canon app. So if you installed it a while ago, make sure it's updated. So far, I've mostly just talked about Wi-Fi, but the Canon EOS M5 and M6 have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and they play nice together. Bluetooth is a low power way for your devices to stay connected when they're near one another. When you want your camera and phone to interact so you can look at images or download them, or remote control your camera, the low power Bluetooth connection hands off the communication to the Wi-Fi automatically. Technically, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi won't ever be connecting your camera and phone at the same time. It'll be one or the other. The good news is that you don't have to think about it once you set it all up. It's pretty much automatic. And for older phones that may not have a compatible version of Bluetooth, you can bypass the Bluetooth installation and rely strictly on the stronger Wi-Fi to connect to your phone. We recommend that you pair Bluetooth on your camera and phone first, then pair with Wi-Fi. And after that, it pretty much runs on autopilot. The next video is all about how you set up wireless for the first time. 
Thanks for being with us.